Hi again, I'm skipping the first few hours of school today because I, yeah, uh, we have a field trip today, it's to a taiko drumming concert, and in my elementary school they made us take taiko drumming lessons every single year for four years, and I'm like, I've had my fill of taiko drumming, I don't want to do any, I don't want to see any more, I, I know all the notes, I know a few song, how to play a few, like, songs, I know, I don't want to see it, it won't be interesting, it'll be friggin' boring. So, yeah, I'm skipping school, kind of. I'm staying home until noon, because I'm supposed to go to Nick's house after school. And I'm going to spend it reading Jane Eyre for my independent study. I'm so happy. I love love this book, and I get to read it for school. One sec. Let me show you the notebook I bought for my independent study. It is so beautiful. Look, isn't this the prettiest notebook? I don't know if you can tell, but it has, like, gold on like, real, not real gold, but it has, like, gold in it. Like, so it's shiny. It's like an old world map. It has, like, all the names are in Spanish, and they use these as U's and, and stuff. And it's, oh, I love it so much. I saw it at Barnes & Noble when I was buying my books, and I was like, I need that. And I was like, no, no, Ezra, you don't, you don't need pretty notebooks. You can use boring notebooks. But I was like, I'll use it for school. There's a, I, that's how I justified it. I think I have a, I really do have a book buying problem. Okay, so my question for this week requires a bit of backstory. Uh, my friend Austin, I think you remember Austin. He No, you wouldn't because you're a year older than me. He went to um, our middle school. He was a sixth grader when I was an eighth grader. And we became really good friends. And right now he's staying with me because his mom is crazy. I'll get, I'm will get. i not going to talk about that on the internet, but his mom is crazy. And uh, he has a bit of a girl problem in that all the girls he winds up with are like crazy or else not into guys um so he just i told him kind of jokingly like every girl like your next girlfriend's gonna have to go through a screening process before i approve them and he comes home the next week saying i know they have to go through a screening process but i have a new girlfriend and i was like oh god so i actually drafted up a, a little test for her to take and uh he brought it back to her and had her fill all of them out and um, then I graded it, and she did well, actually. She got some extra credit points and wound up with an A. But um, the kinds of questions on here, I had a couple of them, like, maybe, like, two were about Austin. Like, what's his hair color, because that's an easy one. And, like, what weird dietary restriction does he have, because he's a vegetarian. Uh, and then the next one is, like, finish the sentence, back, streets, back, and then... The answer is, all right, but I, it was a multiple choice, so I had like, oh yeah, and uh-huh, and popcorn, and I had a bunch of multiple choice ones like that, most of them just little, most of them pop culture references, one of them was from The Little Prince, when it had like the hat, and I was like, what is this, is it a hat, or is it a boa constrictor trying to swallow an elephant, I can't believe she got that one wrong, her favorite musical is Hair, so that's good, but she got Who Created the Powerpuff Girls wrong, oh god, anyway, and then I had some short answer questions, mostly like little riddles and uh, stuff. I also asked her what the last book she read was and what her favorite book was, just because I'm very opinionated about books and reading, and if she didn't read, I'd be like, you fail. You so fail. Um, and then an essay section where I gave her three prompts, and then she wrote a little afterward where she's like, hi, I, don't, I didn't fully introduce myself. My name is Austin's girlfriend. My name is Ariel. And I'm, and he, she said all this stuff, and she's like, I love Austin very much, and I don't intend to hurt him. And I was like, oh, so I approved of her. But my question for you is, if you were to draft a test for your best friend's boyfriend or future child's, like, significant other to, like, to decide whether or not they were allowed to date your best friend slash child, what kind of questions would you put on it? Like, what's important? I don't know. I put riddles on there because I don't want her to be... D really dumb like I wanted to be able to figure basic things out a couple of them were tricky so I didn't I would didn't care that much when she got those wrong a couple were like creativity based like see if she could judge creativity and if you were pop culture to make sure she's cultured and well educated and then books and movies like what her favorite books and movies were and then of course what do you think about the Rocky Horror Picture Show was on there so I want to know what are the most important questions for you that that you would look for in a significant other for someone you care about a lot. Austin, Austin is um, 
to get back at me, he's gonna write up a test for Nick to take, so that should be interesting. Anyway, uh, that's my question for the week. I made it up, like, on the spot as I was, as I was, um, looking for my notebook, so. Yeah. Alright, I'll see you next week. Next week! Bye!